Hi everyone and welcome to this latest video on features and functionality within Viral. Today we're going to take a look at static TCP port assignment. So here we now have the capability to be able to set ports that are going to be used every time you spin up a simulation on your node. So we have in VM Maestro the new options in the menu. So when you select a node you now have the ability to set the TCP port number that's going to be used for this particular node each time you start the simulation. So we can go in Set individual port numbers. These are completely optional. You don't have to do this, but you can if you wish. And once those are set, those are the numbers that are going, going to be used. So I want to see those port numbers that I've assigned. So from our labels option, we can now select serial ports. And as you can see, we now see the entries, console, aux, and monitor for each one of the nodes. So we can see those values that I've already set. There we are, the 9,000, 10,000, 11,000 numbers. And those are going to be used every time. So how do we access these? Well, we're actually going to be using our management LXE. And we now have the ability to statically set the IP address that I'm going to be using for my management LXE by popping an IP address in the flat subnet, so 172.16.1.x, picking a number that's not being used elsewhere. So higher, I've chosen 10. And that's now going to be the number that's used every time I start this simulation. Um, that's going to be my management LXE's IP address and then we can use those port numbers in conjunction. So let's take a look at that. So my simulation's starting up now and I'm switched to the simulation perspective. And now all the nodes are green and there we can see again our console ports have been assigned. And there's the IP address that I set previously. Now because I'm running directly on my laptop and I have an interface into that network, I should now be able to ping that host. So there we go, ping 172.16.1.10. And yes, we're getting a response from the management LXC. So now all we need to do is to append the port number that I'm interested in to the end of that IP address. So here we go, telnet 172.16.1.10. And there's the port number I want. And we're now connected to the console port of my instance, so iOS v1. So we now have direct console access. Open up another connection. Let's go into the next device. And there we go. Now these ports are persistent. So if we stop my simulation and start it up again, I'm gonna get exactly the same port numbers and the same IP address associated with my management LXC. So we're shutting that simulation down. Let's start it up again. We can see, again, the IP address 172.16.1.10, so the nodes are coming up. And if I open up a terminal connection, again, pinging 172.16.1.10, there it is, there's the response from it. And let's try and go back in on those port numbers, so there it is, port 9000. And now we're seeing response from that node. Open up the other terminal connection now, and again, go back in on port 10000. And there it is. So we're now going to have those ports every single time we start up that simulation. So let's say I want to start up a second simulation or I want to change those port numbers. How can I do that? Well, back in design mode, first thing is we can change the static IP address for the management LXC. So I'm changing that to 20. And also I can modify the port numbers by giving an offset. So here I'm going to add 10,000 to the port range. So I'm not having to modify each node, I'm just going to have 10,000 added to those console port numbers. So here we can see it's now gone to 19,000, 20,000, 21,000. If we look at the individual nodes, we still see the original value. We have to remember that it's going to be that value plus the offset. So now I'm going to start up my second simulation. Here it comes. And now we can see we've got the one running simulation on the 1.10 management LXC, and here's the other one coming up now on 1.20. So again, that's now gone active. And again, we can see the console port. So there's my first simulation with the 9,000, 10,000, 11,000 range. Here's my second simulation with 19,000, etc. If we take a look in UWM, again, we can see those static TCP ports Again, the allocations are there. So if we're using UWM, we have all the information for the simulation present. 
So I'm going back to my simulation. So now I've got the two simulations running side by side. So I've still got my connections open to my first simulation. And I'm going to open up another window. And this time we're going to connect in to that second simulation. So we're going to be using the other management LXC. So 172.16.1.20. Let's move these windows out of the way. There we go. So let's see if we can ping it. There it is. So again, Telnet, IP address of management LXC and the port number that we want to use. So 19,000. And there we are, we have the response from that node. Now, remember that we're using the offset value. So if I were to put in the original value, 11,000, there is nothing listening on that port number. Okay, it's actually going to be 21,000 because I have that 10,000 value offset. And there we are, we are logged in. And just to note, because these values are being stored in our viral file, if I create a viral file and hand it to you, you'll be using those same port numbers and the same management IP address number that I specified in the viral file. You can change them, of course, but it means that if I say, hey, it's on port 19,000, it's going to be on port 19,000 for you.